All right, now that I've got the bearings installed and the crankshaft installed, I'm going to go ahead and set the timing on this thing. Now I've got these screws in here just so I wouldn't lose which ones they were. This timing gear has a dot, a timing dot on the bottom. And there's also a hole in the shaft here, which is there to facilitate the use of a tool to insert in the intake and to hold the timing gear, timing wheel. I found that I've got this screwdriver that has about a 2.5 millimeter shaft here, which goes in here perfectly, and it's got a nice point on it. So I just use that and engage it. See if I pull it out, I can rotate this gear. And then it just drops right into place, and now that gear can't turn. <clears throat> so I'm going to set my crankshaft at top dead center, and it just so happens to be that that's where that the pin that goes through the pinion, or the crankshaft that holds the pinion gear is at top dead center. So I'm going to hold that at top dead center, put a little bit of oil here, so my gasket is held in place. I want to reuse that gasket. Now I'm just going to hold this thing on here like this. I don't need to do and worry about anything because gravity is holding that screw down. So all I got to do is concentrate on holding my crankshaft at top dead center. And just set this in place. Now that it's set in place, I can start running some screws in and check it. Notice I haven't taken my screwdriver out yet. Just gonna run these screws in. I'm not gonna torque them yet. Okay, so crankshaft is still at top dead center. That's in place. So now this engine should be timed properly. We rotate it around. I'm gonna put this back in here, and you'll see. Hopefully, you'll see that that just drops right into place when that hole comes up. And there it is. The crankshaft is at top dead center. So this engine is now properly timed and we can continue on with the rest of the reassembly.